Frankie can say it. Welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today on the show, we're going to make Philly cheese meatloaf. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Okay. I got my ground beef here. Now, don't worry about the recipe. It'll be under the video written out. We got some oregano right now down on there. And then we're going to put in some... Worcestershire sauce. You know, some brands have carbs and some don't. Oh, uh, Worcestershire sauce. So make sure this is the brand I found that didn't have the carbs. Okay. Then what I have done is I've sauteed mushrooms, <coughs> bell pepper, and we did green <coughs> onion, and then we're going to put it all down in here. And garlic was in there, too. bit of onion powder. And then we're going to put two eggs in. So I'm going to put, this is low carb bread that I just pulsed up with my chopper to make bread crumbs. <clears throat> so we're just going to mix this all together. So you could use any kind of bell pepper color you want. I happen to have green in the fridge. And usually on the Philly cheesesteak... You get just get the green. Try not to overwork your meat too. We're just trying to get it all combined together. Now you can leave mushrooms out if you don't like mushrooms. Okay. Okay. I think it's all worked together. Okay. Now we're going to get us. <coughs> um. Thing to cook our meatloaf in. Now I use lean ground beef because I like it, but so I'm going to spray this with a little bit of cookie spray. Okay? Now if yours had fatty beef, then you won't need to do this. So then we're just going to mound this all up into a meatloaf shape. And then we're going to stick this in the oven at 350 degrees for probably about 30 minutes. Maybe 20, 25 minutes. And we want it almost cooked through, okay? And then we're going to bring it out and put some Parmesan cheese and provolone cheese over the top for the Philly cheese part. And then pop that back in and let that get all bubbly and brown and stuff. Let me wash my hands. Okay. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to come back with video two on this. Now you can use ground chicken, ground turkey, or you can do a combination of pork and beef, ground beef. So see you at video two. <laughs> 